The most exciting thing are, are the new drugs that are, that are, um, that are really uh, making it into the clinic. Uh, there are probably about 40 drugs in clinical development right now at different stages, and some of them are very exciting, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have a new drug soon. Well, I think we're understanding a lot more about the complexity, but also the approaches to improve treatment. And I've never seen such so many opportunities uh, and approaches that are likely going to really make a difference for patients as new treatments are, are studied and uh, approved. Continuing to emphasize the need that all lupus patients are different, and we need to characterize each one of them uh, on an individual basis to determine what drug is going to work best for them because it's clear from some of the studies presented today that different, you know, they can predict who's going to respond to one drug or another or that we're at the beginnings of that. So I think that's exciting too to get to that point to where we can pick the drug that's going to work best for a given patient. If you don't know the disease mechanism, you don't know where to put in your efforts. Uh, to fight the disease. So, uh, so in that area, I think there's really much coming up. So much has happened within uh, the last years in that area. So our group has come up with the idea of looking at the skin in an area that's not exposed to the sun, that has actually no rash or lesion on it, and saying if we did a biopsy, might we see something that would reflect what might be going on in the kidney? And so we have, are actually doing such studies, um, isolating cells from the skin of patients who have a history or have active lupus nephritis and asking, are those cell, skin cells delivering a message that we could look at and possibly even monitor, maybe even not necessarily replace the kidney biopsy, but be important adjunct information so that maybe we don't have to biopsy someone again. And this is really a, a, a novel new idea that you know the data really suggests it may be feasible. We're still analyzing the data, but I think this is something pretty exciting, and it just tells you, you know, there are there aren't limits on technology. The best technologies and the best brains and the best science is really being focused on the problem of lupus, and I think that they can look forward to novel discoveries and then new therapies and better outcomes for patients over the course of their lifetime, their, lifetime, their experience with the disease. So I think it's a very hopeful time.